Hey there, really nice thing about the Flexbox is that it has so-called source order independence, meaning that you can move around on the items regardless of how they're laid out in the markup. And an example of this is the order property. So let's see how it works. We have the three items, home, search, and logout in the container here. And I've given them number as that simply makes it easier to follow what's going on here. I've also given them classes of item one, item two, and item three. Let's head over to the CSS and give the item two, for example, order property one. And what happened here is that the search jumped over to the third spot where the logout used to be. And I've not changed anything in the HTML. The source order is still one, two, three, but the order on the page is one, three, two. And you might be a little bit confused about why setting the value to one results in it being placed all the way at the end. And that is because by default, the order is set to zero. So whatever items that have an order above zero, for example, one will be placed at the end. However, if we give it a value below zero, for example, minus one, it'll be placed in the beginning. So let's also add a selector for item one and item three. And by default, they're all set to zero. So if we set them to zero, that won't result in anything. If we want the first item to, for example, appear at the last spot, we can give it a value above zero, for example, five or four or three or two, doesn't matter. It'll stay at the end of the main axis as long as its order is above the order of the rest of the items. So what I want you to do now is to make these three items appear in the opposite direction of how they're originally laid out, meaning it's three, two, one, instead of one, two, three. And I want you to do that using both positive and negative numbers in the order here. So go ahead and do that now. And when you come back, I'll show you how to do it as well. Okay, so hopefully you completed that task. Let's now do it ourselves. So the second item here will stay at the same place. That's the first and the third, which will basically be swapped. And we're gonna use positive and negative numbers. So I'll start with targeting the third item, the logout one, and set this to minus one. Now that's first. And then we have to set the item one, the home, to a positive number, one. And now that is laid out towards the end, three, two, one. And that was it. I hope you managed to do this as well. And congratulations, you've completed the main section of this Flexbox course. So give yourself a pat on the back. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask that in the Q&A section and, and I'll answer it as soon as possible. Thank you.